Before I start this video off, I would really like to thank Barber God Pekin and Yuna Nancy Owen. I'll link both of this GitHub in this video description and uh, the original GitHub link from which I installed this. I would like to say that this specific video is aimed for people who have uh, prerequisite knowledge about how anaconda environments work which uh, i think most of the people who come to this video would know about but are facing troubles in installing free type it would take more than uh, say one one and a half hours for this whole thing to set up but once it's done the environment is set up for good uh, okay so let's begin uh, so First of all, you start with installing CMake if you do not have CMake installed. So just go to cmake.org slash download and uh, there you can download a Windows binary. This is a Windows specific installation. Uh, so there you can download a Windows binary and install, uh, go through with the installation. I although already have it installed, I'll just show you how the setup uh, looks like. Uh, as you can see, it's already installed in my case. So I'll just cancel. On to the next step. If if you do not have Git installed, just open up your favorite, I would say, search engine. For me, it's Google. Uh, install Git and just go to the second link, which is Git downloads and download download the kit uh, once that's done install it and we come to the commands portion for the first time uh, copy the command the first command and open a CMD in your downloads directory a CMD or a, a git bash command prompt and just run that command what this will do is copy over these VC package Git directory from GitHub and once that's done so why we are doing this is because we want to install free type and half buzz which will allow us to use them in OpenCV while building them for doing that open up a command prompt in the directory uh, you can do this by pressing shift and clicking open command window here and uh, just type in the command which says bootstrap vc package dot pat once once that completes you need to run two of these commands uh, based on which system you have either a 64 bit system or a 32 bit system first install vc package free type x64 windows or x86 and then go with installing half buzz uh, again the same thing either a 64 bit version or a 32 bit version in which case you end up using the half buzz x86 windows now we are going to locate a package called vc package dot name this is going to contain those uh, the CMA for uh, free type and half buzz which we just installed this is the tool chain for it just copy this directory and save it somewhere i used a notepad uh, just opened up a new notepad in notepad plus plus and just copied it there next ensure that c plus plus build tools are installed in your visual studio installation just make sure you have a visual studio installation a community version of the same would be just fine the window is black right now because of the admin permissions thing. Just install a Visual Studio Community 2019 if you do not have it and then uh, click on modify. Uh, when you see the desktop development with C++, just make sure the C++ MFC, uh, C++, all of the 
ones with build are checked uh, the ones I am showing here once that's done on the bottom right corner you'll see modify instead of close which is written right here you can just press modify and it will begin installing the files the next step is to extract OpenCV and OpenCV contrib which contains the free type installations files modules I would say first you have to download them from github the sources for both of them do not download the SDKs or binaries for either in case of contrib there exists only the source so mm, there's no confusion there once you have them once you have the two files just extract them in the same downloads directory once the extraction goes through we need to create a build directory in the opencv folder uh, now i'll remind you to not do this in the i would say contrib folder now is the part where you modify the cmake list so go to the url that i've provided in the description copy the fix given by this guy i'll, I'll be sure to mention all of these people who, who have helped out then go to the directory in the opencv contrib folder in the module in free type you'll see a cmake list.txt just delete all of the contents within that file and paste the new content and uh, make sure you save the file once once that's done just close out and that's it that's it now you have to just execute the command but before executing it we have to make some modifications to the command so uh, this this is the whole command uh, for the first one, as you can see, uh, this uh, represents the build path, uh, which is the OpenCV build folder, the empty build folder, which we just created. Just copy that and paste it in uh, in the text pad in which you have this down. I'll be sure to include all of these commands. The next thing is the Python default ex executable. Make, in my case, it was a uh, an Anaconda-based installation, so I had to go to the path where I, I had Anaconda installed, and within the Anaconda directory, there is a python.exe file. I would recommend here that you have Python 3.6, and yeah, uh, for this installation purpose, I have instructed with respect to python 3.6 the python library folder is located within the same directory uh, just the libs folder and python 36.lib another thing which i would recommend over here is make sure in the base directory you have numpy installed while running this command if you encounter an error which says that the numpy couldn't be found or something something along those lines just uninstall numpy clear all of the ca cache and pip install it instead of installing it through conda that happened once in my case but never again so i think it was a situational thing that, uh, but since it happened uh, therefore i'll warn you the last one is the vc package dot cmake Oh, actually before that we have the extra modules path this is the modules in the contrib folder I just link that there and the final one is the cmake cmake vc package one which uh, we had earlier copied the link from so just paste it here and you'll you'll be ready to run this command Make sure you remove the spaces, as in remove the new line wherever there is and make them into one single line. This is not necessary but it is recommended because some 
file system names can cause issues. Once you do that, just copy this command and open open CV directory and launch a command prompt by clicking right clicking by holding shift and right clicking and running this command another thing that I would pose as a note here just make sure you read through all of this before pressing enter to make sure all of the directories are correct because building it takes a lot of time and you do not want to be doing this over and over but just in case if anything goes wrong you can always just delete all of the contents inside the build folder and uh, start the process from here instead of going all the way back so yeah once this command runs you'll have those uh, notifications about configuration complete and all that now you need to open CMake GUI and enable some of the things which have been disabled by default so just open up the source directory which is the OpenCV directory itself in my case it was in C, uh, in D drive code downloads in OpenCV 4.3.0 and for the I would say build directory it is the build directory inside that directory which is OpenCV 4.3.0 build that's all that's all that you have to do in some cases this red thing doesn't pop up automatically just make sure you go to file and click reload cache and you'll be set the next few steps just watch the video uh, how it goes it's basically selecting all of the arguments which we need for this build to be successful a helpful tip over here I would recommend turning off uh, uh, turning on a few extra ones there's a search bar up there I shot this video and later realized that some people could use that as well so in the search people just type in non free and the first one that you see in the results just check the check mark in front of that oh also make sure uh, all of the ones in which directories are mentioned all of those directories are present and are correct this will ensure that there are no bugs while we're building the whole program in Visual Studio.
once that's done just click on configure once and then click on generate which i'll do just in just a second once the configuration is done it will say configuring done and uh, just click on generate which will take about a few seconds Once you've reached this point, the hard part is done and now we just need to add a Python variable in the environment. So just go into the build directory, there'll be a folder called Python loader. Copy that directory and go to uh, environment variables, edit the environment variable, click on environment variables, go to the Python path. If it doesn't exist, create a new variable and name it python path press ok in my case there existed the one existed one already so i just moved the one that i just created up in the list by clicking move up and i did the same for the environment variables the system variables both the environment and the system variables have to be set once that's done just click ok and you're done now uh, all we need to do is build and release using Visual Studio 19 which is uh, one of the easiest steps in the whole process. Go to the build directory and you'll find opencv.sln which is the solution file. Double click it and Visual Studio will launch. Uh, it'll take a while to load up. Once that's done, go to the CMake uh, targets and right click on install make sure debug and x64 in my case which is the architecture is uh, selected and debug is selected and just click on ok uh, so I've just shown you two ways to do it but you could easily do it from the menu above once you've done that just click on right click on install and click build and then it will go through the debug build. Once that's done, you will be shown a message with one thing that would have failed. You have to select release from the above menu and do the same thing over again. All of it is done. You've successfully built the OpenCV library along with free type. Load it and do it. Check it. Just open up command prompt and, uh, and type in python and import cv2 if that import is done then your basically all of it is set and just to be sure over here we can check the version in our case it was version 4.3.0 which reflects here and we can also type in free type and confirm that free type is installed so yeah Please let me know in case you have any issues. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope this was helpful to at least some of you out there. Yeah, that's that.